Hey guys, I'm Pineapple Brain. Today I'm going to introduce the idea of critical hit. So its short form is crit. In this video, we will both do critical hit for melee item like crowbar and range the item like wizard. Range the weapon is easier for us to do so, so first go to the Uzi here and delete the damage because we need to do it in the script. But we need to make two variables here first. The first one variable where is variable here. Variable. The first one is crit rate and it is a percentage. So it is a number. Maybe we have 10% like 0.1. The second one is the crit multiplier, which means when they have crit hit, critical hit, how many times it will deal the damage extra from the original damage. So we will have crit multiplier and for example, we will have 1.5 as our crit multiplier for the item Uzi. And then we can move to the script here. Create a new script. I will call it ranged weapon crit. And it will trigger by a projectile hit. So, projectile, the unit start touching projectile. The first thing we need to check is that wherever the item have crit rate and the crit multiply. So we will need to script two things. So if if the it is a variable, so let's use the number comparison entity variable. If the crit rate of the source item of triggering projectile is not undefined, this one is the first one we need to check wherever the crit rate exists. And then we need to check wherever the crit multiplier exists in order to do our script. So change, copy that and change this one to crit multiplier. If both of them are exist, we need to check wherever the unit that touch the projectile is the same unit that shoot that projectile. So we need to have unit comparison. If the triggering unit is not equal to the source unit of triggering projectile, or you could customize this step in order to make it fit your game like you have a team or you have three team, four team, or something else, but you need to customize it by yourself. So in then do, we will create a new action if condition a number comparison. The let's write the right hand side this time first, and it will be an entity variable. If the crit rate here of the source item of triggering projectile. And the left hand side here, we will need a calculation. Um, the first one OP, we will have random number. So it is from 0 to 100. And because we have a percentage for our crit rate, so we need to divide it by 100. So we have something like this, but I forget to change this one. This is not correct. We need to make it if the crit rate is greater than this one, the random number. So we will have to do like this. 
now we are going to deduct the health from the unit. So set entity attribute set the health of triggering unit as so calculation and minus we would have attribute here health of triggering unit minus minus something here now we have important thing we need to have damage times the crit multiplier right and we need to go out first so I need to click OK first because I omitted to make a damage variable here. We need to create a variable damage, the most important thing of the crit hit. So damage is the number 20. So that means that we will need one more if condition here to see wherever the damage is not undesigned. We would put it here and put this if here. So move back to the OP2 and we would have calculation. This is a an, an entity variable. Damage of source item of trick brain projectile times the multiplier of the crit so crit is entity variable crit multiplier of source item of triggering projectile So we deduct the health damage times the crit multiplier from the triggering unit. And then we can copy this one and paste it here. And just simply change the this calculation damage times crit multiplier to entity variable damage of Source item of triggering projectile. And I will make a floating text for us to see wherever the item, the damage changed. So I would need to create a floating text, floating text. So it is fading text of unit. Set fading text of triggering unit as we would have concat minus and tax B will have number calculation we would have the damage so it is variable entity variable damage of source item of triggering projectile times multiplier crit so it is an entity variable crit multiplier of the source item of triggering projectile in so because it is crit so red color we will choose and then copy this one and paste it here copy this one and paste it here change the red color to white color which is normal and then change the minus value into entity variable and it would be damage of source un source item of triggering projectile so you would got something like this now we can first test the ranged weapon first, so let's publish it. I am in the game shooting the dummy box, and you will see that it, when it normally deals damage, it is in white color. When it has crit, it is red color, and it multiplies the normal damage by 1.5. 
So we actually made this out and we will move back to the sandbox and finish the melee weapon crit. We are back to the sandbox and we can copy the ranged weapon crit script and paste it here. We then we can change the name of it to melee weapon crit and we change the check trigger to when when unit uses item. Because it is a melee weapon, we need to change the determination of this one. Change it to triggering item. And this one we will also need to change to triggering item. And the following one will be also triggering item. And then we would need to for loop for all entities. We will look through the entities in a region. In what region we will have entity bond? Bond of triggering item. Because for all entity it includes non-unit entity, so we need to exclude them by making one more condition. If the strength comparison entity type entity type of selected entity is unit, and then drag this one into this one. And if the selected entity is not equal to the saw uh, we can have the owner of triggering item that means actually it is triggering unit you can, we can directly choose triggering unit if the selected entity is not triggering unit we would do the script here and we would see the crit rate of the triggering item And then we will set help of selected entity as the help of selected entity minus the damage of triggering item multiplies by the crit multiplier of the triggering item. We will got something like this. And then also the fader text we need to change it. So I will speed up and change them. Damage of triggering item multiplies the treat multiplier of triggering item. And then we would have the following the normal condition. The selected entity health and the health of selected entity minus the damage of triggering item. And the last one would be set fading text of selected entity as damage of triggering item. Finally, we got this. Now go back to the environment. Don't forget to add the variables for the pro bar. So we have the crit rate, melee damage. So the crit rate you can customize it, and maybe we have zero point five. So it is headshot, and the crit multiplier we would have three, and then the damage originally we will have twenty five. And we will remove this damage. So we will have some settings here. And then we can publish it and try. We are in the game and now we are going to hit this dummy. And here you can see that it actually works as well. And that's all of today's video. Introduce how to create a crit 
for mini item and ranged item. If you like it, don't forget to share and subscribe my YouTube channel. See you in the next video. Bye bye.